everything might just get a lot worse. The economy across the world is slowing down and looking very bleak, nothing really exciting happening, and anything that could be bad that's happening, it seems to be happening. We've got things like the most valuable company in the world, Apple, becoming the most shorted stock with $18 billion in bearish bets against Apple that makes it the most shorted stock on Wall Street above Tesla. And it is a tech giant, the biggest company in the world. And even Apple is most shorted. But you can take just a deeper look into Apple to make this make a little bit more sense because shorting Apple just seems like the wrong thing to do at any time. They basically print money. Lots of people were expecting Apple to have bad earnings. Their last earnings, they had pretty good earnings. So I think a lot of people are expecting this one to be bad as well, and they might shock some people. But if you look at Apple for the year to date, it's down 16%. So it's actually holding up pretty good in a world where the S&P here is down 18% and the NASDAQ's down 27. Apple only being down 16 looks pretty good. You have lots of other stocks that are down 70, 80% or 50%, maybe even over 50 that are name brand stocks. Things like Shopify, Facebook's down bad. A lot of these uh, exciting hype stocks like Palantir, they fell hard, but Apple's held up over this. So that's one thing that maybe could be a bailout for this as people might expect Apple to fall harder because it hasn't fallen hard yet, but it's still not a good outlook. Shorting the most valuable company in the world is not usually a bullish thing to see. Uh, but maybe people just hedging to make sure that, you know, if it does fall, they're secured here because it hasn't fallen so far. But the big news and big problem showing that things are going very bad is FedEx and their earnings that happened. They were destroyed after hours. Following a huge earnings miss, the massive miss from the shipping giant reads like a sign of what's to come. And uh, when he tweeted this, it was down 15.4%. FedEx right now is down 16 and a half. Uh, maybe it drops more tomorrow, but it is definitely a company like FedEx and UPS are companies you can look at and kind of tell how the overall economy is doing. They're shipping. If people are interacting with each other, if businesses online are selling or businesses anywhere are selling, chances are the majority of them are using something like FedEx, UPS to ship to people. So if those are down, that means online business is down. That means people aren't interacting as much. The economy is shrinking a bit. And you can usually decipher that from what FedEx is saying. And that's pretty much what they are saying. You can see here, uh, global volumes as a macroeconomic trend significantly worsened later in the quarter, both internationally and in the US. So their volumes are going down. People aren't interacting as much. People aren't shipping as much. That's the economy across the entire globe is starting to shrink. It's not just something in the US. It's not something in China or in Europe. It's literally across the board. Globally, there are problems starting to show. And that is why it's down so bad. It's down 16%. I'd expect the market to be falling much harder uh, following this news because it's not good news. But it also could be slightly good news if the Fed backs off because of it. Because obviously, this directly correlates with growth of the economy. If people aren't using these, these services, aren't shipping, aren't interacting, if the economy is shrinking, then rate hikes could be a bad idea because that would push us deeper into this recession and they might risk throwing us into a depression, which nobody wants to see because obviously no one wants to be put in that position. No one wants to put other people in that position, but uh, these might be some warning signs of maybe rate hikes should slow down. The economy's in trouble. Things aren't looking so good. Just something absolutely crazy too with FedEx, for FedEx individually looking at it off of this earnings, they had their biggest one day drop on record. You can see right here, biggest one day drop ever. Kind of just crazy to see the volatility and how severe it is and how punishing it is right now. With any bad news, you gotta get out. If something bad is happening, it's going to fall hard. Uh, it's the exact opposite of what we had for 2020 to around 2021, maybe almost 2022, where if there was any news, it could send a stock skyrocketing. Now, people don't have money to throw in the stock market and stuff like this. So there any bad news, there's just no buyers to soak that up. Prices fall. And in specific for FedEx, you can see off of this news, they're cutting costs. Uh, they withdrew their 2023 guidance. 
and uh, for after this first quarter of shipping disappointment. So that's something that when we see companies do that, it's not a good sign. It means they're uncertain. They don't know what to do. We saw Snapchat do it, but seeing a company like FedEx do it is a big problem because they're directly connected to how an economy is doing. So if they aren't even capable of predicting and putting out guidance, then things must be all over the place and nobody wants an unpredictable economy. You can see part of their uh, cost-cutting initiatives. FedEx will close 90 office locations, five corporate office facilities, defer hiring efforts, reduce flights, and cancel projects. So a lot going on, a lot scaling back. This is people losing their jobs. Obviously, closing 90 offices means the people that work there are out of jobs now. Corporate offices, the people that work there, out of jobs now, Def uh, defer hiring. So the people who want to work at FedEx aren't going to get hired because they're not hiring. And, you know, everything just starting to show maybe the Fed is getting a little too aggressive. And I think this, the only good thing to take from this would be that maybe the Fed starts to slow down and back off because this is economic stuff going on and FedEx is directly tied. They look at this, the Fed looks at it, and they look at a FedEx uh, kind of chart. It's right here, even. The former Fed chair uh, used to refer to FedEx as a barometer for the state of the economy. So we know that they look at FedEx, they look at UPS, they look at even things like Home Depot to see how the economy is doing. If it's not doing good, then raising rates so aggressively is probably not going to be a great idea, even though inflation can still be out of control. And that's kind of the tough part that we're in right now, where if they don't raise rates, then they risk not getting inflation under control. But if they do raise rates, then they risk making a severe recession and maybe even a depression and risk a lot of economic damage, at least in the short term, to try and get inflation under control. So they're really at a lose-lose. There's no real good decision to make here. The big question for the Fed is, do you want to take the medicine now or later? Because it's something you can continue kicking the can down the road, but at some point, you're going to have to deal with it. And if they don't deal with it now, inflation and this problem can only get bigger. And then the medicine to take for it at that point is probably going to be worse than what it's going to take right now. I think that's something Jerome Powell has said that he thinks we should take the medicine now because even though it's going to be painful, it will be less painful than kicking it down the road and dealing with it then because then you'd have much bigger problems and it would be much bigger hardship to try and kick, take that under control. But even though things are not looking in the greatest state, obviously the FedEx report shows that. Apple being the most shorted company on Wall Street, I think is crazy. I think that shows exactly what the market is at right now. Uh, but it's still a good time where if you can, buying stocks, buying assets during times of ridiculous uncertainty, in the past has proven to be a good strategy for the future. So we'll see if it plays out again, but it, historically it's been a good thing to do. Only time will tell, but the first thing we need to start seeing is these companies like FedEx, UPS, Home Depot actually start to pick up, recover, things get better and show signs that the economy is actually starting to get better and nothing can happen until the economy starts to actually make a move forward.